This is Josh Taylor and you're watching Boxing Social. This is Rob Tever for Boxing Social. I'm thrilled to be joined by Barry McGuigan. We're here in the immediate aftermath of Josh Taylor's incredible victory over Victor Pastol. Barry, tell me about that fight. Well, it was a couple of moments of the heart in the mouth uh, scenario, but you know, the way to win is to win under pressure and um, you need to learn from mistakes. He wasn't at his best tonight. He was probably 70% um, of what he can do, but you can't be 70% against a fighter like Victor Postel and ex expect to dominate the fight. I thought he lost some of the early rounds um, and he was nailed a few times and stung, I think, in the seventh round. We came back, dropped him in the tenth, could have stopped him, uh, but because it was such a pacey fight, he was a bit tired and couldn't finish him. But all in all, it was a terrific fight. Really, really great fight. But well, we always knew it was going to be Rob. We knew this guy is a, is a world-class fighter, and the only one to beat him is, is Terence Crawford. And, you know, he's knocked out 12 guys. And I think his record, his boxing knockout record, does not suggest that he punches the way he does punch. He's a very accurate, precise, hard puncher. Uh, and I, I'm just thrilled with Josh, the way he handled it, the way he made those adaptations in the middle of a pressurised fight like that. I mean, you touched upon it earlier. He got hurt in the seventh round, Josh, and then and motored down the stretch. For somebody who's never been the distance before, how valuable an experience is that for somebody with so few fights on his ledger against such a high-quality opponent like Victor Pastol? Well, I mean, what we see in the gym every day is the, the engine that he's got. He's got a great engine and a great chin. He was hit with a terrific shot as he came in, and it was like a, an uppercut. Uh, and um, it was a, a terrific shot, and his... He, his knees dipped a second, but he recovered. His powers of recovery are terrific. He's got an amazing engine. He, it was really a fight of two halves. He didn't do so well in the early part, lost a couple of the rounds, thought, by the way, that the, the, the scoring was way too wide. Should have been three or four rounds. Uh, let's, be, let's be honest about it. But I thought the way he finished, the quality of opposition he was against, dropped him, almost had him gone in the 10th round, just couldn't put the finishing touches to it, but dominated the second half of the fight. The championship rounds, that's what he is. He's a championship fighter. And I was just thrilled to bits. And what's more, the fans got a phenomenal fight. Now, I've been around Josh this week at the hotel. What's really struck me about him is how relaxed he's been, how he's really soaked up the energy this week. Yeah. What kind of talent does he have to be able to do that with such few fights, with such an enormous amount of pressure on him in a situation like this? What does that tell you about Josh Taylor? Well, nowadays you see, you know, a lot of guys are fighting for titles, you know, after not very many fights. I see in the gym what he does every day. I see the quality of op opposition he's sparring against and how well he does against world-class opposition day in, day out. I know what he's got. I know he's got a great engine. I know he's got a great chin. And he's a terrific puncher, a combination puncher. And I, I think he's going to learn tremendously from that and he'll go from strength to strength right on the cusp of a world title fight. It's very exciting. And just finally, you just touched upon it there. What's next for Josh Taylor? Well, we're going to keep our options open. Uh, Danny Connor fights uh, Jose Ramirez in July the 7th, I think. And the winner of that will fight, will fight Josh Taylor. And, of course, the World Boxing Series, are, are, they've been knocking on our door as well. We're trying to push that away because we've got to concentrate on Victor Possel. And that was a good idea, wasn't it? Because this is a terrific search of every element of his ability. And I'm, I'm so thrilled with his performance. He was terrific. OK, well, Barry McGuigan, thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Congratulations on a victory. Well done for pushing your fighter. So many fighters these days aren't pushed into the big fights. You've had faith in your man and he's delivered. Congratulations, Barry McGuigan. Thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Thank you very much indeed.